To another beautiful Sunday morning. Are you excited? Well, for me, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so, remember last week we talked about how Jesus fed the 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. Today, we're going to see more of Jesus' miracles, and I know you're going to love it. First of all, let us pray, and let us pray with a prayer song. We want to pray, we want to pray. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Put your hands together, put your hands together. Say your prayer, say your prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for our mommies and our daddies. We thank you for our siblings. We thank you for the church and we thank you for all you have been doing for us. Father, we commit today's activities into your able hands. Take absolute control. And as we listen to your word, Father, teach us. Father, help us to remember and let your light shine in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And guess what? Yay! It's time to praise God. Promise me you're going to jump and you're going to dance and you're going to clap your hands because I will jump and I will dance. <laughs> so let's praise God now, friends. See you soon.
go.
you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my death to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Hey guys, today's dance along is to the classic song One Way by Hillsong Kids. Now, if you'd like to download this tutorial along with other worship videos, go ahead and check out my Patreon page at the description below. Come on, now let's have some fun. I lay my life down at your feet. You're the only one I need. I turn to you and you are always there. Times it's you I see I put you first That's all I need I humble all I am All to you One way Jesus You're the only one that I could live for One way Jesus You're the only one that I could live for You're the only Did you jump? Hmm, yeah, I did. 
I danced and I jumped too. <laughs> I trust you had so much fun. So now friends, we're going to watch a beautiful video on more miracles of Jesus. And I'm going to ask you questions when we're back and you're going to tell me the miracles that Jesus performed. And trust me, you're going to love it. <laughs> See you soon friends. Ever since Jesus was born into this world, he had been working to bring God's will on earth. Jesus lived on earth to show how God loved men. Jesus was the Son of God, and he was willing to sacrifice his own life to show this love. Over his lifetime, Jesus performed several miracles to help people who were suffering and in pain. Jesus never did this to show off or get attention. He performed these miracles so that people would believe in him and be happy in life by helping one another. This was the message that Jesus tried to pass on to us. Here are the miracles that Jesus performed. By the time Jesus was young, he was very popular among people. He was known to help people in need, and his selfless acts earned the love and respect of the people of the land. One day, Jesus and his mother, Mary, were invited to a wedding in the village of Canaan. It was a grand wedding with hundreds of guests. There was music and dancing. Everybody came to bless the newly married couple and wished them a good life. There was a grand feast for everybody. Wine was served at the wedding as this was the custom during that time. During the wedding, the host discovered that there was no more wine to serve to the guests. What is this? The wine is over? Oh my God, this is terrible. What will I do now? We have more guests coming in now. What will I give them? What happened? Why are you looking so sad? The wine, it's over. We have no more wine to give our guests. Oh my god, that's terrible. What will we do now? I don't know. What happened? Why are you crying, Anna? I don't know what to tell you, Mary. All the wine we had got over. What are we going to tell our guests now? What will we do? Don't worry, Anna. Everything will be fine. Let me talk to my son, Jesus. He can help you. You must help them. They are in distress and don't know what to do. Mother, how can we help them? We did not do anything. This is their problem. I don't care about that. You can help them, and so you must. Very well, Mother. Let me see what I can do. Mary calls Ephraim and Anna to where she was standing and talks to them. Do whatever Jesus tells you to do. Everything will be taken care of. Very well, Mary. Thank you. Take these empty jars and fill them with water, then cover them with lids. Ephraim looks surprised at first, but then continues to fill the wine jars with water. Jesus then walked to the jars and blessed them. Ephraim, now open the lids and check the jars. Ephraim opens the lid of jars and to his amazement finds the jars filled to the brim with wine. This is unbelievable. Jesus, how is this possible? This is a miracle! Thank you, my Lord. You truly are the Son of God. Go in peace, Ephraim. All the guests at the wedding were amazed at this miracle and understood that Jesus was indeed loved by God. This is the story of a woman who was healed of a painful disease by her faith in Jesus. One day, Jesus was traveling through a town with his followers. There was a woman in the town who had been suffering from a painful disease for years. 
She had tried to get help from many physicians from all over the country, but even after trying for so many years, the pain did not go away. It had only gotten worse. One day, the woman saw a man walking through the town with a huge crowd following behind him. The woman walked closer to get a better look and then asked a passerby who he was. Who is that? That is Jesus, the Son of God. He is traveling through this town with his disciples. Oh, is that Jesus? He must be able to help me. Heal you? That is impossible. You are an impure woman. Do not go near him. She thought if she could meet Jesus, he would help her. So the woman headed towards Jesus to get his blessing. But she could not make her way through the crowd. If I could at least touch his robe, I would be healed. Finally, after struggling for a long time, she managed to get near Jesus. She reached out her hand and touched Jesus' robe from behind. Immediately, she felt the pain disappear. Jesus stopped walking and turned around, looking at the crowd. Who touched me now? Master, there are so many people behind you. They are pushing forward to meet you. Somebody must have touched you accidentally. Jesus looked at the disciple and smiled at him and then turned back to the crowd. Tell me, who amongst you touched me? The sick woman came forward and knelt down at Jesus' feet, crying. My Lord, I have touched you. I have been suffering from a dreadful disease for several years. I have known nothing but pain. But now, when I touch your robe, all my pain is gone. I am free. Get up, woman. When you touched me, I felt my power go out of me for a moment. Your faith has healed you. Go in peace now. One day, Jesus was speaking to a crowd of people when suddenly a man approached him and fell at his feet. The man was Jairus. He was a very respected man of the synagogue. My Lord, my daughter is very ill. She will die at any moment. Please place your hand on her head so she will live. Jesus was moved by the request of Jairus, so he went with him. As they approached the house, one of Jesus' followers came from the house. Jairus, your daughter is dead. Please leave Jesus alone now. There is nothing he can do. Jairus was stunned to hear these words. He felt silent for a minute and then began to shout the name of his daughter loudly. Jairus, do not be afraid. Hold on to your belief. Jesus then turned to his disciples and summoned some of them. Peter, James, John, follow me into the house now. When Jesus stepped into Jairus' house, he saw everybody was crying loudly in the room. The girl lay without life on the floor on a white cloth. Stay calm, everybody. This girl is not dead. She is just sleeping. Some of the wise old men who had come to visit the house made fun of Jesus when he said this. I want everybody to step out of the house. Only the girl's parents, Peter, James, and John, may step into the room. Jesus then sat down next to the girl and stroked her head, praying silently for a minute. He then called to the girl, Wake up, child. Wake up now from your sleep. To the joy and amazement of everybody in the room, the girl got up and walked into her mother's arms. Jesus then turned around to the others in the room and addressed them. I don't want anyone here to speak to anyone else of what has happened in this room. Give this child something to eat. Welcome back, friends. Did you enjoy the video? Did you see where Jesus performed so many beautiful miracles and put smiles on everyone's faces? I enjoyed it and I loved it. And I know you did too. 
So remember, I said I'm going to ask you questions when we're back. So who can remember how many miracles Jesus performed in the video? Mm-hmm. Yes, Jesus performed three miracles. The first miracle, Jesus turned water into wine. And he did that at a wedding. Everyone was happy and Jesus put smiles on people's faces. And the second miracle, Jesus healed the woman with a disease. The woman was so sick for so many years, no one could help her. But when she heard about Jesus, she had faith and said, if only I can touch Jesus' cloth, I know I will be healed. I know I will be well again. So she said, and guess what guys, she touched Jesus' cloth and she was healed. Every sickness, every disease was gone. Yes, that was awesome too. And the third miracle, Jesus healed Jairus' daughter, who everyone thought was dead. But Jesus said no, she was only sleeping. And Jesus prayed and she came back to life she was alive again everyone was happy everyone was excited and jesus put so many smiles on everyone's face did you enjoy the miracles of jesus i know you did i was excited and i was happy too so do you believe in miracles mm -hmm. yes believe in miracles because Jesus can do anything, anything you want, just pray and Jesus will do it for you. So now guys, today is the end of our beautiful Sunday morning. Um, so sad I will have to go now, but I know I will see you next week and we have a beautiful story to tell you. <laughs>